Well, I think there's been really significant progress in the country, particularly if you look back over 13 years uh, since the UN mission was started. Um, and I think much of that progress has culminated in the last year. But politically, we've seen the country really develop its own particular culture of democracy. We've seen the first transfer of political power from one elected leader to another in Afghanistan's history, only uh, last year. Uh, and a culture which has been building on successive cycles of elections. Uh, certainly most of us who work here were, real, were really moved last year to see ordinary Afghans take huge personal risks uh, and suffer physical discomfort in order to exercise their right to vote. And they clearly saw that exercise uh, of their right to vote as a form of personal empowerment uh, and a real shift in the, uh, in the country's history. Uh, economically, we've seen massive infrastructural development in the country. To be sure, there will be question marks over whether the most was made of the really significant levels of aid which have poured into Afghanistan. Uh, but notwithstanding that, we've seen both physical infrastructure and non-physical infrastructure like schooling, um, access to health and so on, really achieve significant uh, benchmarks and milestones. Uh, and I think from a security perspective, the Afghans have now, uh, as of this year, taken full charge uh, of the security of the country, protecting its uh, territorial integrity. To be sure, they also face challenges, um, but this was unthinkable eight years ago. Um, and uh, what we've seen uh, of the development of the capacity to secure the, their own uh, safety has been, has been a remarkable development of the uh, security institutions.